Hi everyone, how are you? Hello, hello. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Fro. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing well. I can't complain. What about you? Oh, I'm very tired. Um, very tired? Yeah, I just... I'm in Colombia. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. But I'm in... Uh, in um, rural school so when I have many many activities on the field in some crops banana in plantain crops and I work 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 okay so you're teaching students or excuse me you're teaching students no no I am a participant only oh, okay <clears throat> yeah yeah but it's very interesting. Uh -huh. That's nice. Yeah, but that night is a celebration in Colombia. So uh -huh. they celebrating the beginning of the Christmas. And have a tradition in the, the coach explaining uh, so in old house, put many many uh, candles mm -hmm. outside. Outside in the uh, look, wait wait. On the on the house outside house, and all the people what do these activities. How do you say piden? De pedir. They ask for? But what? Un deseo, pedir un deseo. Oh, they make a wish. Okay, they make a wish. So it's very stressing, stressing and to eat some dishes, traditional dishes from Colombia, and this is a, I don't remember the name, but it's similar like a poliada in some, uh, how do you say, it's a traditional food, I don't know, but with Traditional coffee, food, yes, it's yeah. a, or, or typical food or traditional food. Yeah, typical oh, you're food. eating right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. Tomorrow, just just go to the bath. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. I have a, a a good experience too because my colleagues, my uh -huh. colleagues, um, they are from Belize. Belize. Okay, Belize. Uh, spend, uh -huh. spend a few minutes in the in, all day. Uh, speaking English and uh, this is good for the opportunity because to practice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And the rest of you, I'm happy that you were able to connect to the internet because it might affect you if you're not. Uh, but mm -hmm. I don't know what did they tell you. You told me that you uh, um you let you inform the coordinator floor. Uh, Right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. <clears throat> I told just as I told to Flor because mm -hmm. uh, the connection it's not good here yesterday, but the 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 sun the mountain, uh, I have a uh, some difficult, but the connect is so so. But yesterday okay. it's really really bad because it's raining and the connection because it's a real rural sun because this is difficult for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Well, yeah, yeah. Thank you for for understanding me. Okay, so it's great that you uh, were able to connect today. Uh, yeah. so we're going to begin, and the rest of you, how are you doing, Maria? Good. 
well, um, what's excellent? How are you, Maria? Works, I'm fine. My day was excellent. Okay, that's nice. Did you work today? Yes. I work but until until two and a half. Two thirty? Half past two? Yes. yes. I had a per, um, permission. Okay. Okay. You were able to leave early? You asked for a permission? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, for being on time. Um, we are going to start the class. Thank you so much. So, uh, yesterday we were studying, uh, we were um, giving suggestions, right? Um, um, so we're going to start from, uh, from this. Yes, we listened to this conversation, so you remember? You remember? All right. So we practiced this in the breakout rooms, and this is the last thing that we did. So I would like to hear uh, two volunteers. I'd like to listen to you. Volunteers to role play this conversation. Maybe Daniel so. and Maria, thank you so much. Man, uh, Daniel, you are the pharmacist. Okay, okay. <clears throat> that you can see so that presentation yesterday, but I will try. Okay, Maria? Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Would I have something for a cup? I think I'm getting a cup. Sure. Why don't you try these cold drops? They work very well. Okay, I'll take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? Okay, Maria, he should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Sure. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Great job. You did it amazing. Uh, just this word, multi, it's a multivitamins. 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 Excellent. Okay. Yes, there you go. So um, you did a very nice job with pronunciation. Nothing else, but just one, just one word. Multivitamins. And that's it. Excellent. Multivitamins. Uh -huh. Do we have two more volunteers? All right. I have Ruth and Anna Silvia. Are you going to start, Ruth? Okay. <laughs> Hi, um, may, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have some things for a call? I think I'm getting a call. Sure. Why don't you try these cough, cough drops? They work very well. Okay, I'll take one box. And what do you su suggest for dry skin? Well, you could have a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And mm, one more thing. My husband has a no, has my husband has no energy this day. This this day. <laughs> this day. <laughs> These days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. They excellent. Great. Um, may I have three large bottles, please? Excellent. Three large bottles. Wow. <laughs> three, three, yes. three large wow. bottles. <laughs> <Can you do? laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, thank you. thank you so much. You did a very nice job. Thank you so much for participating. So yes, I just wanted to double check, uh, but I see that you did your homework <laughs> and you practiced the, the conversation. Uh -huh, because yesterday I, I didn't have the chance to go to all the rooms because yes, that time was not enough for us. So let's continue. After this, we have a video about the use of these model auxiliaries that you have there. So we're going to uh, watch it together. Uh, let me share sound. Here it is. Okay, so we have the video about the uses of the model verbs. We're gonna watch it together and then we're going to practice. Let me. Okay. Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay, let me share the, let the screen again. Okay, so uh, we already watched the video about these modal verbs such as can, could, and may. And the explanation in this case is that we are using them to give advice or suggestion. Do you have any question about them? No questions? No? Okay, so uh, let's see. In this, we have to circle the correct words in this exercise uh, to select the correct um, Auxiliary. So for the first one, what would you select? Can or could? I help you. Can. Can. Okay. Why can? Why can? Why are we going to use can? Uh, no, it's cold. Could you okay. help? Could. <laughs> Why okay. can? It's can. It's can. Why, Francisco? Uh, cold is, podría, como un poquito más formal, o, porque, uh, can I help you? Es como, puedo ayudarle. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's in present. Um, That's the key. Uh -huh. It's present. So, we use can because we are offering the help in present tense and could is the past of can. So the best option here is can. Yes, I just wanted to double check. <laughs> you, okay. you must get sure of what you're doing, okay? Tienen que ser, estar seguro si es can porque está en presente. So it could es el pasado de can y si estamos ofreciendo ayuda, no lo vamos a hacer en pasado, all right? Okay. So yes. Uh, sometimes people ask, what is the difference between can and could? Yes, can is in present, could is in past. So if we are going to offer help, we do it in the present using can. Now, the, the answer to this one, can I help you? 
yes. And uh, may I have something for itchy eyes or do I have something for itchy eyes? Do I have something? May. Uh, why may? Something for each case. Correct, may, because we are requesting something and we're, this is a model for request. And do is the auxiliary for simple present. So it doesn't make sense if we use do. So yes, correct. Thank you so much. Um, Daniel, I see that you raise your hand. Yeah, because I can select make or do, but I think it is made too. Mm. Nah. I, I didn't get it. So you're asking if it is the same thing, may? And, um, good, and I can select make, may or do, but I think it is may. Yes, it is May because May is used for a request. Excellent. Uh huh. Okay, next it says, Sure. Um, you could or may try this bottle of eye drops. So, what do you think is the correct one here? Cool. Uh huh. Cool. Cool. Yes, could. You could try, uh -huh. you could try a bottle of eye drops. We don't select May in this case because this is like a for um, um, and not very certain. And if we are uh, suggesting something good, stronger than May. So correct. Thank you so much. Um, is it similar like that song, the... The song of Jukubilo. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, what do you suggest or try for sore muscles? Uh, teacher. Teacher, I don't understand because, uh, why it's cold and in anterior, in a, in a, sure, you could try a bottle of eye drops. Could, no es en pasado. Can I explain to Silvia? Yes, Ana Daniel. Uh-huh. Okay, Ana Silvia, I think that when I use could, it's como podrías. In Spanish, in, in Spanish, I, we say, podrías abrirme este botella, por favor. So we can, uh, we can use. Yes, but in the future. No, no, no. no. Is... <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, Ana Silvia, sorry. <laughs> no, no, but, but it's okay. No, no it's okay. like a, a possibility, but it's like a, it is past, it's not future. So, but uh, to podrías, it is like a possibility. Podrías hacer, uh, you could try a bottle of eye drops. So it's, uh, digamos que can es el pasado, eh, could es el pasado de can. It's not future, pero si nosotros decimos podrías, eh, mentalmente pensamos futuro. Entonces, ajá. ahí es donde nos tendemos a confundir. Pero, ajá, es una... Um, ok, come, let me explain you better. No, es como I, que I tienen varios usos, porque sí, could es pasado. Si yo quiero expresar una habilidad que yo tenía en el pasado, por ejemplo, yo podría decir, I could run very fast when I was a, a little child. Ahora no correr ni dos pasos todo y ya me cansé. Entonces, is ability in the past, yo podría, yo podía. Ahí lo interpretamos como yo podía, 
habilidad en el pasado. Pero si lo voy a utilizar para como auxiliar de posibilidad, ahí sí ya suena como un futuro. Y sí es futuro ah. porque tú podrías probar ah. este bote de gotas para los ojos, pero podrías no hacerlo, podrías hacer otra cosa. Entonces ahí es para expresar uh, posibilidad, uh -huh. pero es? también sirve para expresar una habilidad del pasado. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ejemplo, muchas gracias. Podía correr cuando era pequeña, podía correr rápido, I could run very fast, I could jump the rope, también saltaba cuerda. Uh -huh. So, but not anymore, ya no, eso es pasado. Vicente. Thank you. You're welcome. Fíjense que sí podríamos tener una clase porque sí, los modales tienen como varios usos, pero quizás voy a buscar un material que sea bastante resumido para que no nos lleve mucho tiempo para decir, este puede servir para posibilidad, habilidad, permiso, prohibición, porque sirven para muchas cosas, pero no todos los puedo utilizar para todo. Cada uno tiene como su categoría. Ajá, y por eso tal vez le entró una confusión porque dijo, pero yo ajá, lo he usado como en pasado. Pero yes, that is the, esa es la explicación. Sí, para expresar habilidad en el pasado, pero como modal auxiliar es una posibilidad como futuro. Could. Y que me dice, yo podría decir, you can try. Tú puedes eh, probar este bote. Sí, puedo usar can y puedo usar could. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Could es more polite. Es el could es más... Um, cortés. Ajá. ¿Qué entiende hacer como informal? Esa también es una diferencia entre ellos dos. O sea, ahí podría usar, utilizar perfectamente can. Sure, you can try it about all these eye drops. Lo puedo utilizar, no hay problema. La diferencia es a quién le voy a sugerir, ¿ok? Uh, si vamos a hacerlo con un cliente, con alguien eh, de respeto, digamos un superior, entonces, entonces usamos mejor could. Si le voy a sugerir a, a que a mi hermano, a mis compañeros, you can, you can do this, puedes hacer esto. Yeah, es más formal, eh, informal, pero no es que sea tampoco oh, horrible, callejero. No, no, no. Lo uh -uh. no puede utilizar como con, con gente con la que usted tenga confianza, puede usar can. Ella es una, más uh -huh. respeto, un poco más como cortés, mejor usar could. Mm -hmm. That's a different. Eh, Vicente. Good evening, teacher. I'm late. I come in from my job. Uh, Sorry. Okay, but thank you for being here, making the effort. That uh, that counts a lot. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, in number two, <laughs> what do you? What is the correct here? Suggest or try. For sore yes, muscles. Or, or muscles. Mm -hmm. And this one is the best option. Suggest because. Try, it doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> no tiene sentido poner try ahí. So, uh, now, why yes, don't you? Huh? Why don't you uh, try this uh, ointment? Mm -hmm. Yes, it doesn't have sense to use suggest here. We need the verb try. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you try this ointment? It's excellent. It's excellent. Okay, I'll take it. I take it, right. Mm -hmm. What about number three? Could I? A box of bandages, please. Could I have? Could yes, I have? I have? Because we are requesting something here. We are not asking for a suggestion. So we need something here. In this mm -hmm. case, a box of bandages. So suggest doesn't make any sense there. Okay, here you are. And then we have another question. And what do you for insomnia? What do you suggest? Suggest. Mm -hmm. Suggest. In this question, we are asking for a suggestion. Um, we cannot ask to try, right? What do you try for insomnia? No, it doesn't have any sense. Now, you? Try this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. You should. You should, you should try. Yes. First suggestion tea. here. Herbal tea. Try this herbal tea. 
It's very relaxing. Relaxing. Okay, so you did a very nice job with this one. I see that it is very clear, but we can reinforce um, maybe by the end of the week. Uh, tal vez para el final de la semana hagamos un repaso para um, ya, reforzar uh, lo, lo que a veces confunde. ¿Cuándo usar may? ¿Para qué sirve? ¿En qué casos puedo usar may? ¿En qué casos usar could, should, and etc. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. We're going to exercise that maybe by Friday. Uh -huh. uh, okay. We have this listening. And this listening is try this. Uh, so I'm going to move from here to the other program where I have the other program so that we can listen. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay, uh, we have this listening exercise. Uh, if you have not printed the material or it might be a little bit different than the one that you print on from the platform, no worries, you can work in your notebook. The important thing is to uh, do the practice for this listening exercise. We're going to listen to four people talking to a pharmacist and you're going to check each person problem. If you have not the material printed, you can write in your notebook number one and you write the problem. Number two, three, and four. Let's take a look at the problems that they will be uh, talking about. The men's feet are sore or the men's feet are itchy. Number two, the woman can't eat. The woman has an upset stomach. Number three, the man has difficulty sleeping or the man is sleeping too much. And number four, the woman burned her hand. The woman has a bad sunburn. Is there any question about the vocabulary? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, ready for okay. the listening? Yes, we yeah. are ready. Okay, I'm going to play the recording twice so that you can um, gather the information that they are requesting. So we need to identify each person's problem. Okay. Page okay. 82, exercise 10, listening. Try this. Part A, listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. You could try this medicine. It may help, but I think you should see a doctor. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. See? Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. You get all the information or you want to listen again? We got it, teacher. We got it. Yes, I, I, it was like pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to check your answers. So um, what is 
the problem uh, in person number one? The men's feet are sore. Yes, the men's feet are sore. Mm -hmm. Number two. The woman has a the woman has a stomach. Yes, stomach. the woman has an upset stomach. 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 Teacher, what is the real pronunciation about this word? Stomach or stomach? stomach. It's stomach. It's stomach. 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 Like you at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember. The CH, it sounds like, um, for example, you say mechanic, it sounds like key, mm -hmm. right? Mechanic. So we don't say uh, mechanic. Uh, same mm -hmm. thing with uh, chemistry. We don't say chemistry, we say chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right, and number three. Uh, the man, the man, has, man has difficulty the man for sleeping. Has difficult uh, sleeping. Difficulty sleeping. Mm -hmm. And number four? The woman born hand. Yes, the woman burned her hand. The woman burned her hand. She was trying to cook. Uh, probably, yes. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Or yeah, yeah. ironing clothes. Okay. So um, now we have this exercise in which we are going to role play. Uh, see if you were a customer in a drugstore and you need something. You need this list of things. You need something for low energy. You need something for the flu something for a backache, something for dry skin, something for an absent stomach, something for sore feet, and you will ask for some suggestion and the student B is the pharmacy in a drugstore. But before we do this exercise, I'm going to check attendance. So if it is possible for you, uh, it would be okay if you turn on your cameras, is in case if you're, um, uh, someone asked itchy. Itchy. ¿Qué significa itchy? Picazón. Es picazón. picazón. Cuando hay picazón, cuando algo pica. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to check attendance. Mm, yes, give me one second. Ada Marilu. Thank you, Ada. Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Uh, thank you, Alejandra. Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania. Present, teacher. Yeah. Ana Silvia de Flores. Ana Silvia de Flores. I said present. Thank you, Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia de Cruz. De Funes. Ah, oh, de Funes. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Ana Yancy Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Brian. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Stephanie. Diana Stephanie. Diana Esmeralda. Diana Esmeralda. No está tampoco. Absent. Okay. 
Uh, Eduardo Jose. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepción. Present, teacher. Thank you. El Carmen. Present. Thank you, Maria. Nancy Carolina. Patricia and Maris. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rosa Hilda. Present. Thank you. Um, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Sandra Noemi. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Thank you. And Jessica Rosibel. Jessica. No, here, Jessica. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to share screen again. And this is in your material. This exercise is in both, and the one that is in the platform, and also in the one um, uh, that I sent to your WhatsApp group. So remember that this is just a role play and to uh, ask for and provide suggestions. One of you is going to be uh, the customer and the other is going to be the pharmacy. And you can do it it's just speaking. It's not necessary that you write a conversation. Remember that we have one example here. Uh -huh. We have this example. So it say, hi, may I help you? But you can change it. What, uh, what other expression can you use instead of may I help you? Um, can I help you? You say, can I help you? Mm -hmm. Another. You can ask, how can I assist how you? Can I, how can I assist you today? Uh -huh. How can I do for you? What can I do for you? Uh huh. What can I do for you? How can I assist you today? How can I help you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can use different expressions, okay? Um, pueden hacer un brainstorm primero, como, ex, como hacemos ahorita, ¿verdad? Esas expresiones para ofrecer ayuda, para que no estén usando um, like, a, like a recording, right? May I help you? Hi, may I help you? Also, and you can increase, they say, hi, good morning, how are you? How can I assist you today? So yes, like a, a natural conversation, not just repeating the same thing. So you can brainstorm the expressions that you can use, and then you go ahead and role play. Remember that we are going to be, one is going to be the pharmacist. So you have to um, discuss, okay, I'm going to be the customer and you're going to be the pharmacy and then you change, um, or someone is going to ask for the first three, um, um, medications or, or, or ask for advice of the first three things and other students going to ask for the rest three. And you can add more things. It's not, not just the, the thing that is here in the, in the material. You can ask for some other things as, um, as, as long as you practice and um, take advantage of this um, opportunity that you have here to practice with your classmates. Uh, do you have any questions before I create the breakout rooms? No, it's okay. Okay. So let's see. Okay, it's ready.
Agatha a veces. Ah, ok. Así que mejor, hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí, ayer sí pude, hoy no lo guardé, no guardé la imagen. Sí, sí, yo, yo le estoy ayudando. I have it. Ok. Yes. I have it in my notebook. Ah, ok. Pero si usted la puede proyectar, Eduardo. Ok, ah, ahorita. Ah. Please. Un momento. Ya, es... Ahí lo puse. Ok. Eh, ¿Ya les aparece? Sí. Ok. Pero es esa la, la... Si es esa o la siguiente diapositiva. Siguiente. Esa. Esa, ¿verdad? That one is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, can we practice with anybody? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, ¿quién, ¿Quién empieza o cómo empezamos? Dos únicamente. Si quieren empiecen ustedes porque yo casi no, ahorita no le he hallado todavía la, la, a la indicación. Son seis y somos uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yes, for example, sí. let's see, we are Ana Silvia, Eduardo, uh, Vicente, Cristina, Ana Marilu. Uh, Podrían pre, pre, empezar como ustedes gusten, si, si quieren primero, okay. Eduardo es cliente, Vicente es el de la farmacia y Eduardo le pregunta por las primeras dos cosas, algo para energía baja, algo para el flu, después para Cristina y Ada, Cristina es la pharmacist, Ada es la customer y Ada necesita algo para el bad cage y algo para el dry skin o pueden hacerlo eh, como ustedes gusten, todos atacan a Eduardo, todos son customers, Vicente pregunta una cosa, Cristina uh -huh. la siguiente y así, y después pueden cambiar. Ahí se los dejo a su, a su, como lo quieran hacer mejor. Gracias. ¿Cómo podemos pedir algo? ¿Cómo podemos um, uh, pedir a, um, uh, lo, lo que dijimos, verdad? ¿Cómo podemos uh -huh. pedir ayuda? O, o cómo podemos saludar y preguntar cómo le puedo ayudar. So we uh -huh. can say, how can I assist you, etc. So you decide. Okay. Okay. okay, Eduardo and me, if you are ready. Okay, you are a um, customer. I'm going to begin. Okay. Okay. Hi, how are you? How can I help you? Hi, how are you? Uh... I need something for a uh, low energy. I really, I have a really busy days this weekend. Okay, good. Uh, I suggest uh, some um, vitamins. You can take um, uh, one pill in the morning, every day. Okay, I want uh, two bottles of that vitamins. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And, and you, you can uh, have a Red Bull too. <laughs> <laughs> Boost your energy. Not, energy. No, teacher, eso, eso, eso afecta al corazon a la larga. Los Red that's a cannon hair, <laughs> hair <laughs> attack. <laughs> Es un ataque al corazón en el corazón. corazón. <laughs> exactly. You can take one in a week. <laughs> wow. Just one in a week. Or you can watch. try drink a cup of, um, cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, <laughs> yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I take every day. And <laughs> do you have uh, do you and have the next, for uh, for the flu? For the flu, you can buy, um, you can take, or you can drink uh, vitamin C. Also, is is helpful to drink a lot of liquid. Okay, I'm gonna try. And okay. what do you suggest is for for a backache? Because back I have uh, really hard pain these days. Okay, good. So you were very busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can you can you could try a uh, a little ointment to put on it. Or okay. you can try uh, with a massage. With a massage. massage. <laughs> Maybe it's better. <laughs> Maybe it's better. Better <laughs> in the oil me, me too. Okay, have... good. Uh, I'll see you a doctor. <laughs> sí, verdad. Solo que desde aquí creo que no lo puedo, desde el teléfono creo que no puedo ver el chat. Como no, como no, ahí en, 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 en donde dice más, los tres puntos y más. Ah, <risa> solo que el, el, el see you doctor sería, no, o sea, porque, porque estamos en la farmacia, ¿verdad? <risa> eh... Ah, sí. <risa> ay, ay. Bueno, pero sí, sí es válido, puede decir, eh, yeah, you... you... You sí, should, porque you should be a doctor. doctor. And, and, and take it this uh, pildra has pill, pills, ¿verdad? Yes, pills. Pills. Uh -huh. pills. Take it pills uh, a for, pill. for a moment. For, for the moment. A for a bottle moment. of pills. Mm -hmm. You should. Bueno, voy a ver qué, qué, qué escribió. Take some uh, as, aspirin. Eh, you should. You should. Take some aspirin. A doctor. It means take a some. Doctor. A doctor. While, mientras, perdón. While you take this aspirin. Y tendríamos la primera conversación, ¿verdad? Pues así, más o menos. Pues, más o menos. ¿eh? Línea. Quedó, eh, hello, good morning. What, a, what, can, what can I help you? And, hi, good morning. I have terrible flu. flu. What you suggest for me? Eh, eh, in the last area, you should see a doctor while you take this aspirin. Eso sería. ¿no? Lo que quería ver, bueno, esperemos que yo estaba buscando también. ¿Cómo seguirlo? Porque en los ejercicios anteriores, por ejemplo, estaba. Ah, una cosa por decir, por decir, ah, one, one more thing, creo que decía también, una cosa más. O decía, ok, eh, one more thing, una cosa más, one more thing. I, I have uh, had, had that. Headache. 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 Uh -huh. Headache uh, es dolor de cabeza. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Podría ser también eso. One uh -huh. more. Estaba lo de I, what do you suggest for dry skin o algo así. O for al, dry otro problema. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí se puede. Yo creo que sí se podría expandir el uh -huh. customer igual que en el ejercicio anterior hey okay. uh, I heard some of you were practicing a lot so that is nice
Let's see. Okay, uh, we've been doing this and then we have the reading exercise here. Um, we're going to read these letters to an online advice columnist. Um, we have two, um, two letters, small letters. Uh, it says, let's see the signature. It's Frankie Frida and Too Busy. Who wants to read the first one? Volunteer? I will. Thank you, Vicente. Okay. Okay, I'm going to begin. I have a problem and I need your, your advice. My parents don't like how I dress. I think I have an interesting style, but my parents say, I just look strange. Um, Weren't they are ever, ever? Uh, teenager? Um, sorry. Weren't they ever a teenager? Can you please help me? Excellent. Thank you so much, Vicente. Thank you for reading okay. for us. Um, a volunteer for the next one. Or two. Some volunteer. Me. I heard Ruth first. I primero escuché a Ruth. Ahí está la manita. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Dear Mr. Fred, several several months ago, I started college. I study a lot and have a part time job, so I don't have much of social life. I haven't made many friends, but I really want to. What do you suggest? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Ruth. So uh, here it is pretty easy, right? So the idea here is that um, we have to um, um we have to do the part B. So now in this, we have to imagine that we have, we want some advice. Uh, Maria, yes? I'd like to work the, the first, to, to read. To oh, you wanted to read the first one? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I have a problem. I need your advice. My parents don't like how I dress. I think I have an interesting style, but my parents say I just look strange. Weren't they ever teenagers? Can you please help me? Excellent. Yes, you did it great. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have two different situations here. And well, the idea is that uh, to write something similar about a problem and write a short letter similar to the ones that we have already read and um, think in an interesting way to sign it. What does it refer to? An interesting way to sign it. So you see here the signature, Funky Frida. And here the signature is too busy. So that is the idea of the exercise that you do something similar and make uh, an interesting signature. <laughs> so you can do it uh, whenever you have a, a short time, you can write something similar to this. And just to have fun, you can invent, you can imagine uh, an interesting way to sign it, like this ones. <laughs> okay. All right, and that is uh, in case that you have any, any question or any doubt on how to do this, or you said, oh, I, I have this exercise in the material, but I don't know what to do, or so you can do that. And whenever you have time, you can write, uh, practice your writing as well in English. Okay, okay so good. that is just uh, like an advice, right? Try to, um, to take advantage of the materials and the time as well, because I think that we finish on the 20th. 
And then, I don't know, when are we going to start classes again? So, yes, you have some extra exercise to do. All right, and then we have a reading here that world news. World news. Uh, let's see, rainforest remedies. remedies. Uh, look at the title, pictures and captions. What do you think the article is about? Okay, so we have uh, one, two, six paragraphs. So I'm going to need six volunteer. You can raise your hand. I volunteer to read I'm the volunteer. first one, number one. Okay, I have Maria, number one. Francisco, you read number two. Anayansi Martinez, number three. Daniel okay. Alejandro, yeah. number four. And, and let's see, uh, I have, I don't see here, Ana Silvia de Flores, number five. And uh, finally, I hear yeah. Eduardo. Okay, number six. I'm sorry. Eh, Se escucha entrecortado. Number one, please. Rodrigo Bonilla turned off the motor of the boat. We get off the boat and follow him along the path into the rainforest. Above us, a monkey with a baby hang from a tree. Thank you so much. Number two. Oh, this hot January day, Rodrigo is not looking for wild animals, but for medicinal plants, plants that can cure or treat, I don't know. Illnesses. Illnesses. Hmm? Illnesses. Medicinal plants grow in rainforest around the world. Around the world. Excellent. Thank you. Number three. Rodrigo is Costa Rica. He learned about jungle medicine through his, grandmo his grandmother. He saw uh, many different plants, such as the brown stem. He, he, he feels how that parts of the brown tree can help stop bleeding. Okay, thank you so much. Number four. Many mm -hmm. products as medicine. In fact, about 50% of Western medicine, such as aspirin, come from the natural sources. And some animals eat certain kind of plants when they are sick. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number five. This is why medical research are so interested in plants. Many companies are now working with local government and searching the rainforest for medicinal plants. Excellent. Number six. So far, the search has not produced any new medicines, but it's a good idea to keep uh, looking, that's why we are now here in the Costa Rica rainforest. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, is there any question about vocabulary here? In the paragraph two, uh, illnesses. Illnesses. Okay. Ill illnesses refers to enfermedades. Enfermedades, that's the meaning of illnesses. Mm -hmm. Any other? Teacher, mm -hmm. una pregunta. Siempre he tenido eh, confusión en los nombres propios. ¿Los nombres propios se pronuncian tal cual o se da una, eh, un, un como, uh, por ejemplo, problem. ajá. Una pronunciación, gracias, diferente a cómo es en realidad. Eh, los nombres propios hay que tratar de, and it's a very good question, tenemos que tratar de uh, pronunciarlos como él lo hace. Por, por ejemplo, aquí es Costa Rican, yes, Costa Rican mm -hmm. foreign. 
Costa Rican rainforest. Uh, porque está como, um, lo llevan al inglés. Eh, sucede mm -hmm. que a veces ellos es como, no entiendo lo que decís si nosotros lo pronunciamos eh, tal cual, ¿verdad? A mí me sucedía al principio cuando empezaba a tomar llamadas. Eh, um, a un señor me costaba un poquito. Entonces una vez llamó y me preguntó, ¿Is Karen available? Y yo, ¿qué es eso? Entonces le mm -hmm. dije que lo repitiera. ¿Is Karen available? Y yo, oh, Karen. Karen, me dijo así como, uh -huh. pronunciarlo así como te estoy, Karen. Entonces, ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes, I'm going to check if Karen is available. Uh -huh. Just allow me a, a couple of minutes on the line. I'm going to uh, ask her if, if she can take your call. Pero ajá, uh -huh, ahora es como que, ajá, uh -huh, cuando él habla, ah, oh, Karen, ok, just one minute. Trato de uh -huh. pronunciarlo como él dice. Uh, okay. Same thing, once I, I said Arkansas, and so I said, Arkansas. Es como uh -huh. que lo quieren corregir a uno y pronunciarlo como yo lo pronuncio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces sí hay que darle ese acento como amer americanizado, aunque sean uh -huh. nombres propios. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. ok. Por ejemplo, mango es lo same, pero si dice ah, mango, no le van a entender, así se dice mango. Uh -huh. Tenemos okay. que darle. Ajá, en, pero en, en el caso, ajá, en el caso, por ejemplo, donde dice Rodrigo Bonilla, no vamos a decir Rodrigo Bonilla, o sea, Rodrigo, sino que Rodrigo, Rodrigo Bonilla. Rodrigo, uh -huh. Rodrigo, uh -huh. siempre tratando de uh -huh, hacer un poquito amer americanizado. Uh -huh. mm, y así que dice Rodrigo, and that's okay. Rodrigo is Costa Rican. You learned about and say like this. You can mm -hmm. puede hacer, solo que a veces como que no lo comprenden y quieren que ah Rodrigo. Uh -huh. Okay. Porque, ok, o sea, entonces es, 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 uh -huh. básicamente tenem, tendre, tenemos que adaptarnos, por ejemplo, a la pronunciación del americano, en caso americano, pero si lo hablamos entre nosotros, sí también se puede utilizar como normal, por ejemplo, Rodrigo Bonilla, Costa Rica. Sí, ajá, depende de la persona con la que, ajá, porque de repente... Uh -huh. And say, ah, Rodrigo is Costa Rican. And say, who? Rodrigo. Ah, oh, yes, Rodrigo. Entonces, si la persona no le importa que usted lo pronuncie así, tal cual, Rodrigo, so you continue. A veces es como adaptarse a la persona con la que la estamos persona. hablando. A veces mm -hmm. depende de eso. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. um, Ajá. Las veces que eh, cuando ellos llaman... Eh, por el nombre de las personas, eh, los nombres latinos, la que se llama Julia, le dice Miss Julie. Mm, Julie, oh, ajá. Chile. Y es porque ajá, a ellos les cuesta mucho pronunciar los, nom los nombres latinos. Pero a mí me, toda la vida me toca deletrear mi nombre porque no identifica el sonido. Ajá, me toca estar deletreando Flor. Uh, no lo entienden. Y es Laura. Me dicen Laura, como si fuera Laura. 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 <laughs> no, it's Flor, it's, it's F as in Frank. Y empiezo a deletrear. Oh, Flor, ya cuando se los deletreo tratan de decirlo. O sea, a ellos les cuesta mucho con los nombres latinos. Ok. Ok, so thank you so much. Unfortunately, the time is over and we're going to continue with this reading tomorrow. Oh. And, and the reading exercise I had now, I would like to have more time. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> yeah, you are from the other class. <laughs> yeah, you, you should join thank the two hours much. program. Hey, thank you, you teacher. Okay. Anyway, thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Good night. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Rodrigo Bonilla.